Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Hipsa. Today's video is going to be my monthly favorite. So I actually have quite a few items to get through. One or two items are, or three items actually, are kind of products that I've been trying to use up this month, hence I wanted to just quickly include them. So I'm going to speed through those because I have mentioned them and I'll talk more of the, about them in my empties video. But the first item I really do want to talk about is the Merry Mistletoe Candle from Bath & Body Works. I love this candle. I think it's one of my favourite candles. It's kind of like a little bit on the masculine side, like it's not a very feminine scent. But it has that kind of pine, woodsy kind of scent to it. It does, yeah, it just it reminds you of those kind of trees and stuff like that. What I'll do is that on my blog post I'll leave a little description of what Bath & Body Works or whatever website I can find and um, that how they describe this candle because I really can't remember the, off the top of my head the notes that they say but yeah it's just kind of like a piney woodsy kind of scent which I really like surprisingly but yeah. So this is the one of the products that I've, I've actually finished this month and I'm really proud of myself because to finish a fragrance for me personally, it takes a long time. But I think because my sister was using it, I was using it, so we kind of finished it a little bit quickly. But I really love the white citrus f scent because it's just citrus. It is purely like a citrusy, refreshing scent, an everyday scent. So I'm definitely going to repurchase this. Um, I would definitely recommend this as well if you're into those kind of citrusy scents. Um, so yeah, so I'll, like I said, I will do a little bit maybe more on my blog post, but that's pretty much it. Um, I just really like the scent, I will be repurchasing it, finally finished. So another scent I've actually been using this month is the Peace Love in Daisies. I really like this scent because it's a really nice florally kind of refreshing scent as well, but more on the floral side. Uh, another definite recommendation, I really like kind of these kind of scents that are refreshing and not too sweet and a little bit on the more so the next side. item I've actually finished up and it's the Clinique Take the Day Off Make a Remover for your lids, lashes and lips as well. And I really do like this makeup remover. I think I got it in like a little kind of gift pouch thing with some other products. But I really like this because it doesn't irritate my skin. Um, I tend to go back and forth with this eye makeup remover because it sometimes can be greasy but I feel like if you shake it well enough it doesn't feel that greasy on your face. Um, what I typically like to do is dip like a q-tip cotton bud and then remove my eyeliner um, a little bit of my eyeshadow that way and then I go in with like a cotton pad and remove the rest of it and I think that way I don't irritate my skin as well by just like constantly rubbing with like a cotton pad. But I really do find that it doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't sting my skin, and I really do like this product so far. So I may purchase the bigger bottle eventually, but I just want to first kind of use up some other products before I purchase this. And especially because Clinique is a little bit more on the expensive side, um, I want to just make absolutely sure that I do 100% want to buy this product. But I would definitely recommend it if you do have sensitive skin. So the next items, I kind of have talked about a couple of times on my like favorites videos and stuff and these are the elf lipsticks the brown one is in fantasy and the pink one is in flirtation flirtatious and sorry my brown this flirt fantasy one is kind of like messed up because it broke a few times and just shoving it back in the tube so it's kind of gotten a bit messy i really like the brown shade because it's just a really nice brown shade. It's not too dark, it's not too brown. I feel like it has a little bit of a pinkness to it, um, so it just looks quite nice. Um, the flirtatious one, which is the pink shade, uh, I, th I can't wear it by itself because I feel like it kind of settles in in my lines. My lips are quite lined as it is, so that it just doesn't look right on me. It's such a pretty pink though. And what I have noticed, I don't know why, it kind of transfers like from my top lip to my bottom lip or my bottom lip to you know my top lip so it, I don't know I don't know why I think it's just maybe the light the shade is just a little bit lighter but because they're such hydrating kind of products I really don't mind using them what I do like doing is mixing flirtatious with fantasy so therefore I can get my own custom like brownie pink shade so I am still you know being able to use it anyway um, I would recommend these anyway because they're such a moisturizing lip product and they're not that expensive as well and they are pigmented. Okay, this product, oh, I really want to love it. Um, I do like it, but it's not like love at first sight kind of thing. 
I love the color, the shade is beautiful. It's the gorgeous lip gloss in gorgeous rose. That would be helpful if I actually told you what the product is. But it just, the smell, it puts me off. It's kind of like paint. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird paint smell. I, I just don't like it. Um, it does go away eventually, but when you first apply it, mm -mm, I just, I don't like it. Um, it doesn't last for a long time. Um, I have tried a couple of times with the lip liner as well, and it's okay, but it just doesn't last. As soon as you start eating, it just goes. Um, but otherwise, it's okay. It's, it's a nice hydrating lip gloss. It doesn't feel very drying at all, but it's not like super moisturizing like some other lip glosses that I do have. Um, it's not sticky at all. It's, it's nicely pigmented. It's a very shiny kind of um, look to it. Um, so I do really like it. I'm going to continue using it and see if I can play around with it a little bit more and try and just make it last a little bit longer as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really nice pretty shade. Just don't like this. So the next product I have actually mentioned quite a few times and I love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This is the shade Istanbul. I love this shade because it's just an everyday pinky mauve shade that I can wear. And without thinking, I can just put it on and just be out the door. It does dry down matte, and it, but it, it's hydrating. It doesn't dry out your lips like some liquid lipsticks can do. Um, it does transfer a little bit to like if I'm drinking something like on my cup and stuff. But that's not really an issue because I don't mind reapplying it. Um, but it still does have like a little bit of a longer wear to it. So I definitely recommend these. One of my favorite The next item is also products. from NYX. And this is the Mega Shine Lip Gloss. As you can see, I've tried to use quite a lot of lip products this month. I've been trying to really use some up as well. Um, and this is in beige. I just like this because it's quite hydrating. It is a little bit on the stickier side because it is a lip gloss. But it's just nice and hydrating to the lips. And my lips, I feel like a little bit dry right now. So I really do like using this. It's just a nice pinky kind of shade that you can just put on and go walk out the door. Um, so yeah, I've kind of been wearing a lot of pinky shirts. So that's it guys, month. thank you so much for watching. These are all my favourites for this month and I realised it consisted mainly of lip products. Well, if you don't know, I mean I love makeup, but I love lip products, it's like my go-to product, so... I guess it, I'm kind of justified. Lipstick quarter hair. So if you, if you like me and love lipstick products, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what your guys' favorites are. And also let me know your monthly favorites. And as always, I'll do a little blog post for you guys and I'll link it down below just if I've forgotten anything else, out, close-ups, all that good kind of stuff. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So thank you again so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.